So I often get asked what the best kits are for new players, and today we're gonna to be going through the top 10 kits for beginners. These kits are always available, meaning they do not require a battle pass. This is important since a few months from now, if I include a bunch of battle pass kits, you're not gonna be able to get them, and there goes my video. Then I gotta make a new one, and then I gotta make another new one. So I don't like doing that. The nice thing about this tier list is you can always get these kits months from now. The other thing you're gonna find about these kits is they require very little skill to use, so you won't be seeing a lot of like combo kits here, like Evelyn or Hannah, especially the ones that require a ton of emeralds. I only have like one in here that require a lot of emeralds, but it's still a really, really easy kit. Before I get started, please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and turn on notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Starting with number 10 is going to be Builder. Builder is a really great kit for new players who want that added protection during matches, especially if you feel like you keep getting targeted and they keep breaking your bed and you just can't play. And this is a great one because it will definitely slow them down from breaking your bed, especially in squads and doubles. Not so great for solos, okay? Solos Builder is kind of a target. My preferred bed defense is a layer of reinforced stone then ceramic for anyone trying to blast through your bed, then add another layer on top of that, which is gonna hide your Tesla coils and it's gonna hide the fact that you even have ceramic in the first place. So maybe they're you know gonna try to fireball and then run away. This kind of defense is also awesome because most players will take a glance at your bed and they're just gonna focus on other teams first because yours just looks like a big mess to have to deal with. Good bed defense is a little harder to pull off in lucky blocks since players just get really, really overpowered quickly, especially with the huge blocks and now the cosmic blocks, but it gets the job done. While builder is a great choice for beginner kits, we do have have nine other kits we're gonna move into right now. Next up with number nine is Trinity. This is a really awesome kit in many ways, but it does require a little bit of skill in order to be able to use the kit's abilities. After you get three kills, Trinity will give you an option to evolve, and after that, that's when things get a little spicy, where you can start healing yourself or your teammates, depending on which path you take. And this kit can get really, really overpowered, especially with the right enchant. For the average beginner, this kit will still give you the slight advantage in combat because you are healing yourself as you hit others. The downside, like I said, is you do need those first three kills in order to be able to use the kit, which is why it isn't a top five for beginners. With number eight, we have Vanessa. Now I hesitated adding this one because it does require some level of skill, but she is way better for beginners than say like Archer Kit. The reason being is Vanessa has a three shot ability. So even if your bow aim isn't the best, you still have three shots that give you a chance to hit the enemy. So you got basically three arrows flying in the air. So even if your bow aim isn't very good yet, you still have those three shots that have a chance to hit the enemy. And you can also add a little bit of spread depending on how much you move the mouse while you're shooting. If you land all three shots on a player, you're gonna send them flying. It's hilarious. The downside of Vanessa is that it's a very, very expensive kit to be using because you do require a ton of iron to be able to buy your arrows and because you're shooting three arrows at a time. And if you're missing often, the kit can actually hurt you more than help. So it's it's good and bad, but it's still a great kit if you're learning how to bow. Next one, number seven is the Gen Camper's Dream. This kit makes it so you never have to leave your base other than to finish off the enemies unless your team is doing it for you. Your main job as Cyber is to resource farm and to get your team fully upgraded and supplied. So you don't really have to be the one killing players and taking their bed if you don't want to. That's what's nice about this kit. And that's why it's very beginner friendly is the one thing your job is to do is fly your drone around, you know, after you purchase it, collect diamonds, emeralds, and if you dare, the enemy team's iron resources. Imagine dipping into their iron and really messing with them because you just took all their iron away from their gen. You can also drop TNT on players to troll them or do some heavy damage late game. Not only is it fun, but it can be very useful for handling gen campers from the safety of your base. The downside, most cyber kits die. <laughs> they just die especially if you're up against um, experienced players they're gonna shoot your drone down and they're probably gonna come to your base and kill you so it's not so great for like smaller team modes like solos and doubles and especially ranked it can be good if you have good defense with number six, we have another resource farming kit and it's very beginner friendly and that's Zenith. Zenith did recently get nerfed, so it's a little harder for you to get your kit's satellite up and running. You do need six emeralds to buy it now, which means you're gonna need to farm emeralds mid for some time before you can even purchase it. My recommendation is just to go out to mid, get a couple emeralds, you know, if you're if it's like really, really busy out there, otherwise grab them all. But if it's really, really busy in mid, at least get one to two emeralds, come back to your base, dump them in your private chest for safety, then go back out and keep doing that a couple more times and then you'll have your satellite. After you buy your satellite and place it and activate it, the enemy's gonna start feeding you resources anytime they buy things from their own shop and that's when you start getting buffed out and geared. This is a really great kit. The downside is you're kind of stuck gen camping if you want to avoid losing your satellite because if you die, there goes your resource feed. 
Coming up with number five is another great kit for beginners and even advanced players, and that's Grim Reaper. Grim has a weird jump and movement animation that can make it a little hard to hit at times since it kind of hovers off the ground a little bit. You can also jump three blocks with it, which means you can get away a little bit easier. Also, their knockback sends them a little higher, so it's just a little, it's just a weird kit to be dealing with. They just jump higher, everything just feels weird. So whenever you're up against a Grim, things just don't feel right. You can also heal if you kill someone by absorbing their soul, giving you a better chance to survive constant rushes. So if you get hit by a team and you survive it, you heal, they're gonna rush you again, you heal, they're gonna rush you again. Whereas in other situations, healing takes a lot longer, so there's a good chance you're gonna be still half health by the time they rush you again, which is the opposite with this kit, because you're still gonna have that, you know, those hit points. The downside is that this kit only works if you can fight others and win. So if you're dying constantly, this kit is kind of useless. Next up, number four is a crazy resource farming kit with Miner. Now with Miner, you, if you kill someone on land, meaning they didn't fall into the void and die, their body is going to turn into stone, which you can then break with your special pickaxe and gain resources from it. There's a great way for you to get geared up faster than your opponent since they're essentially giving you free iron and sometimes diamonds and emeralds, depending on how powerful they are. Next one, number three is a kit that everyone hates. And as you you probably saw in the most hated kits video the other day that is Yuzi. Yuzi does require a little bit of skill specifically in understanding the distance of jumps but besides that it's an amazing kit for mobility and damage given that if you get rushed you have a good chance to boogie out to mid and stay away from enemies chasing you so if you're kind of getting ganged up on and maybe you lost your bed there's a chance you're going to survive that game because you can jump larger gaps than them. They'll often give up chasing you after a bit. This is just one insane kit. And the nice thing is it's a zero cost kit, so you never have to spend resources to use the abilities right away. Downside is the swords do cost a bit more than normal swords, and there's a cooldown for the ability to recharge after you run out of your four boosts. So it's like, I think it's like 10 seconds. Next with our number two kit is Axolotl Amy. This is a really, really great kit. This kit is always underestimated in matches. And I think anyone that says she's a bad kit I've seen, I've seen you, I've seen you. You just haven't used her enough and don't know how, in my opinion. This kit is underestimated. The kit has given me a ton of solo match wins. I never really have to upgrade the third or fourth Axolotl with her. And I often destroy others to a point that I get called a hacker since she does give a little bit of a feeling of extended reach. So, you, you know, if you're going up against her, things just feel weird, kind of like Zephyr. It feels like you're playing against a hacker because she's just got this weird effect. And I think it's the Axolotl's doing it. The other great thing about this kit is if you're playing with others, your Axolotl's are going to assist them if they're taking damage so they're you'll see like if you're playing and suddenly an axolotl is floating around you and, and you're not aiming then that is because amy's helping you this is definitely a go-to kit for new players since you don't need to do much other than buy the axolotls for their passive abilities Finally, with number one should be no surprise, and that is Elder Tree. With Elder Tree, you can get so buff with your health that it makes it so much fun to play with because you just, you get bigger and bigger and bigger for one. And you can go around collecting these green orbs on the map that randomly spawn in various locations. So as you collect them, your max health points go up and to a point that you can withstand a ton of damage. Um, I've wiped full teams with Elder. The downside is if you're not comfortable going outside of the gen camping mode, then you're gonna have to get out there and exit your comfort zone. Still, it's an insanely great kit and the number one go-to if you're just getting started in Bed Wars, I highly recommend this kit. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your favorite kits in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.